Alright guys, Simon here, and we're building what is eventually going to be a really big city. Um, it's kind of a, a big city at the moment, not really. What is it? It's got 67,000 people. It's not that big, is it? It's kind of small, isn't it? Um, Alright, what are we doing next? I'm not sure. We're going to build two more residential modules, I think. That was the decision. I can shift some of this grid over. Uh, can I? Hold on, what's going on here? Alright. I don't know if I should continue this grid here or kind of shift this across a little bit and have like residential stuff here. No, I'll just I'll stick with the grid. That should, you know, that, that keeps things simple. So I've been thinking about a couple of things during the break for me. Firstly, I think this is meant to be high density because that's kind of much bigger than the other buildings. I'm thinking the reason I'm not getting more of this is because I'm zoning medium density and they're not supposed, this is not supposed to exist in medium density. I'm thinking if I change some of this stuff to high density I'll have more of this. Uh, I'm not sure though. I mean there's no demand. Actually, let me just run this simulation a bit. There's no demand for residential. Not really. If I build residential, we might have problems. Um, the other thing is, like we we're kind of just doing what the data tells us to do, if that makes sense. Like we're just kind of looking at this graph and then deciding what to build based on that. And you know, things aren't that simple in real life. In real life, see, here's the thing: like commute time, commute time is about an hour in my city on average. But like in real life, how do you know that? I mean you know your own commute time, but how do you know the city average? You kinda have to ask everyone. This is not just you know, you don't just have a graph you can look at, right? Things like garbage, I guess you can kinda see garbage capacity and then garbage output again. So so like compiling this information, this is this is the difficult work. Designing the city is not that difficult. Compiling the information is a difficult part. Like in air pollution, water, water and power, like measuring all this stuff, this is the, the difficult part of running a city. And I think I kind of said this earlier, but you know, once you have the information, designing the city is not difficult, if that makes sense. So you know, if you want to work in, in city planning or something like that, you're gonna, your, your job is more going to be collecting and, and compiling the data more so than actually designing cities, if that makes sense. Um, the garbage problem is a problem. Monthly service costs $1,400. How much does the... does the waste to energy plant monthly cost 1000 How much am I making at the moment? Almost 6000 Okay, we're gonna build a waste to energy plant. I think that would be a good idea. So let us one, two, three, four, five, six. Let us put that there. Although really it should be that there. And we're going to build a waste to energy plant like there, we're going to build a power line there, okay, there we go, and that should help a lot with the uh, rubbish. So you see that the trash incinerated, um, it produces hmm, that much power, I mean it doesn't actually produce very much power, and it, and it the power it produces depends on how much rubbish is being burned. So, and the, the cost per megawatt, you see it's 5 cents cost per megawatt. Here it's like 58 cents cost per megawatt. So it's not very efficient, but it gets, mostly we use it to get rid of rubbish. It also produces a lot of air pollution. If we can look at that, you see the, the air pollution being produced there. Although, you know, the coal is not much better anyway, so that's fine. And let's just check what happens with the trash, shall we? 
garbage. Hmm, so the total garbage is slowly decreasing now. I think what's going to happen is that we are actually not producing enough garbage to have this plant running at full, you know, at full capacity. I think what we're doing is, is burning the stuff that's in the landfill over time. Let me just see what happens next month. So, I mean, you can see it's kind of slowly declining, which is good. We want that to happen. We want it to decline. Okay. Now, back to the fun stuff. I think we are going to build another residential development. Is that right? Don't need to tweak this too much because we actually have enough money. So let's stop fiddling around with that. And we're going to build a residential thing there. Okay, let's go. Slow down the simulation. And we're going to... Oh, look, these roads don't actually join up. That's better. Alright, we're gonna do... that. And we're gonna have to change some of these to avenues. Later on, probably. But we're not gonna do it yet. The double streets are actually, you know, fairly efficient. Or fairly, I don't know, adequate. They're not that efficient, technically. I mean, they're, they're I mean, you don't see double streets in the real world like that, because it's just weird. It's one of these things that we have to do in the simulation, because the simulation is not very good. It's not very... Uh, why does that... Okay, zoom in. I just remembered, too, that if we want to put highways in here, where the highways cross, you see these clover leaves? There's not actually enough space there for the clover leaf. So I'm going to have to demolish, I actually have to demolish some of these buildings at the corners to put in the clover leaf if I want one. I can just have them cross over and then not actually have the clover leaf. That kind of works, too. It means they have to, if they want to kind of change directions, they have to get off the highway and then go back on to the other one. Again, that's not very good. I mean, it's not optimal in terms of transport. But if, the, if, if it's adequate for transport, then we don't really need to worry about optimal. Alright, one, two. And three. This game has great music, by the way. I turned it off, though. Because, um, copyright. And because it's EA, and, and I'm pretty sure they'll have copyright issues. So, uh, no music. But if you buy the game, which you probably should if you're interested in, in building cities, and buy this one instead of the new one, the new SimCity, uh, you can hear the music, which is good music. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I haven't played the new SimCity, so maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. It's, uh... I'm not hearing a lot of good things about it, though. I can, I'll tell you that much. I feel like... I mean, it's... Uh, EA. They do this all the time. Like, they, re they release games that aren't quite ready. Like, they, they, they think about making money before they think about making a good game. Whereas, you know, the the companies that we actually like, they they think about making a good game before they think about making money. And so then they end up with good games. Whereas EA doesn't, really. I mean, they put a lot of money into it, and they, they get some sort of game out of it, which is, you know, it's not too bad. But, um, definitely could be better if they actually, you know, focus on making a good game instead of how to how to get more money out of people all the time. I mean, I understand... Oh, really? Oh yeah, okay. I understand the need to make money. Actually, I just put in some agriculture. Just because there's kind of empty space there. I don't know if farms are able to use up spaces that small, and we need more p water, don't we? 
let me just check the um this is ten of those okay I see we don't need the the bigger pumps yet um what was I saying yeah like i I understand the need to make money but in the long run, if you don't make good games, you're never gonna make any money. Cause you're you're selling games. Like how can you not have a good product? And they're still doing it. EA. The whole culture is is you know it revolves around that, just cashing in. Short, like the the vision is is so. Short term, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, they signed a deal with Disney to make Star Wars games, which, I mean, I don't want to be the bad guy, but I think we can all predict how those games are going to turn out. Cash ins all day long. Anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about SimCity. Uh, so there we go. No one's moving in yet. Why not? This is so good. Okay, I'm gonna put in bus stops as well. Let's see, we're gonna put in like there, and there, and there, and there. I think I actually need more bus stops. I think I don't actually have enough bus stops for the bus stops to be useful. Because people don't walk very far. They have to walk to the bus stop, then they have to walk from the bus stop that they get off on to wherever it is they're going. And uh, yeah, these people don't like to walk. Oh, we need water pipes, don't we? And that nonsense again, the no car connection. The simulation is problematic. The simulation is quite good on the smaller cities, in the bigger ones it gets a bit strange. It's like it slows down and it's not great. But um, I mean that's not that's kind of... there's not much you can do about that. Okay, there we go, got people moving in. And we want water. Right. And I guess we'll put in the school as well. Should we put in the school now or should we put in the school later when people have moved in? Let's put in the school a little bit later. Alright, so has anything changed back here? can't really tell. I mean it'd be great if we can just have one table where we can see all the schools and all the hospitals at once. But we don't. So... Hmm. That's interesting. The cost per megawatt hour for the... It's gone down to 20 cents. Why is that? Is it because we're burning more rubbish? It's getting more efficient? We're burning more s garbage? That's good, garbage going down. Um, let's see, look, what we can do is health and education. We can look at that, and then we can see the funding and capacity for those. So, maybe I should use this. I can... 656... Six, I can bump that up. Nope. 666. Six, six. Capacity... 1830, yep. Yeah, like, this is not as responsive as, you know, the other sliders. Education, look at this funding. What is it, 5, 16, 7? Yep, yeah. oh, this this needs more funding. 6, there we go, 7. Uh, that, that also needs more funding. Not quite that much, there we go, let's do that. That also could benefit from more funding. That's fine, okay, that's set. I guess I can use that. It doesn't give you as much information as that, though. Like that, that's so clear. And when you 
adjust the sliders, you can see it happen automatically. Or you can see it happen immediately, like how it changes and all that. Ah, it's just, I don't know. The UI is not as responsive as I was as I would like. Um police station. Yeah, it's police station. I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten. There we go. The coverage is not perfect, but crime is mostly under control. Mostly. Where's my prison? The prison is there. Hmm, that's fine. Traffic. We might have to do something about the traffic. Ooh, that. Yes, the traffic. All right. All right. I I see what's going on. Okay. 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 Let's let's do something about the traffic. I see what's going on. And um, we are gonna have to. I think. What we really need is to demolish that and then avenue right, right, avenue up to there so that avenue, I think I want the avenue to connect there as well. I think I just should put in more connections. That's basically what I should do. I mean, that's, that, that, that never hurts. To have more connections like that. Um, these bits are problematic. Actually, no, they're not. Let's just uh, connect those up. There. No. No. Why did you... Oh my god. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Now I have to... Rezone this thing here, that. Just demolish someone's house for no reason. Alright. Alright, join that up. That's good. Join that up. That needs to be joined up. Let's do that right now. Before we forget. And... Join these up. How much money do I have? 168,000. Great. Okay, there we go. Run the simulation. Um, what else is a problem, traffic-wise? So that whole thing was a problem, it shouldn't be anymore. That's something of a problem, that's a little bit of a problem, not much yet. I, I think I can deal with this, I can deal with this, that's fine. That's a problem there. But uh, let's just run the simulation a little bit. And then that should disappear, all this red stuff. That there. Um, well, I mean, eventually, eventually it'll recalculate the simulation. University, that's fine. Let's just see... That's good, slowly building up. How's the demand? Hmm, it's not good, is it? We definitely need more commercial. Definitely need more commercial. I don't know what the uh, road connection thing is, is supposed to be. It's clearly wrong. 
It still hasn't recalculated. Okay. Any moment now, if you want to recalculate that. Speed that up. There we go. Still some problems, but um, much less. Okay, let's ignore that for now. That should be okay. Yeah, definitely more commercial. We should put that... We can put it here. The thing is, it's low wealth commercial. So in a way, it's appropriate to put it where the pollution is. <laughs> Let's do that. Low wealth, uh, low wealth commercial. There we go. Let's... Uh, instead of a grey, that sucks. So now we have mountains as well, which is a problem. I'm gonna avoid... having tunnels, though. Alright, let's do that. Let's look at that there. There we go, and that. This might become a problem in the future when I try to change this to avenues. And these roads are all, you know, over the mountain like this. At least this part of the game is, is realistic. Trying to fit a grid on a mountain usually is complicated. I think San Francisco has this problem. Like it's got hills and it's put a grid over it and doesn't, you know, it's not great. It kind of works. But there's issues. Alright. No, no, hey, no. How about in O, oh, no? No tunnels. Nope, no tunnels. Ah, there's like a bridge. Is that a bridge or just... It's kind of a bridge. I don't know if it's just reinforced... You know, reinforced earth or if it's a bridge there. Um, right, there we go. And that. Hmm. So this is gonna be complicated. I might as well put in the connections to the next city. I don't know if we need them though. Actually, let me just do that, and that, and that. Alright, so then let's just pretend that's sufficient. And then join those up. Look at the, the land just change shape like that. Makes building roads pretty easy. Also not very realistic. Um, not complaining though. There we go. Alright, and then there, so we're completely changing the shape of this hill as we do this. It doesn't really give you very much control over the shape of the roads. 
we can actually shape the land, and we can raise and lower the land a little bit. It's quite expensive, though. So we can actually control the the shape of the land a bit more than what I'm doing now. It's it's still not very precise, though, to be honest. All right, come on, come on, no tunnels. Maybe this is a, there's a shortcut I can press to make sure there's no tunnels. What's my? I'm making plenty of money. Finances are doing great. I think that means we can afford highways, but we don't need highways. We can afford probably a subway system. We don't really need that neither. Alright, so there's our roads. And maybe I should just leave some room here for things. I don't know what things. We might find out later on some things that we need. Okay, what's going on in these parts of town? I okay, that's fine. Um... Fine, that's... Okay, that's... We might have to build the large high schools soon. Because the demand is, is fairly high for high schools. That's all fine. That's fine. Okay. So, a police station should go... No, not you. A police station should go... There... Or is it... Where's this one? This is not the same as the other ones, okay. It can go like... There, there we go. That's probably a good place for it. Alright, and then... Commercial. Let's start with... Let's start with this corner. Oh, wait. Bus stops. Oh, we can do that later. Uh, I said I was going to leave that, wasn't I? Does that actually work? Not really, does it? Um, Alright, that's not going to work there. That is. So once you get to the mountains, you can't always fit the buildings in place. What do you mean, no power? Well, okay, I see, I see why you mean no power. Have these farms built? No, the farms haven't really built. I don't think the farms are ever going to build here, to be honest. It's too small and there's no demand. I guess that's the most important thing, no demand for farms. Um, no, that's not going to work. That's going to work. That's not okay. Yes, move in commercial, move in. S build your shops. That's not, that's not gonna work. That's way too steep there. That's kind of, that, no, that, that works there. That kind of works there, nope. And nope. I f okay, I guess. Let me turn this around, so I can see the other side. Uh, no. That's not gonna work, that's way too steep. Okay, that's not gonna work. And bus stops. So you're gonna put a bus stop there and there. And there, and there we go. Let's check the commercial. Commercial demand is still pretty high. Yep, that's good. And... 
Huh. That's about as much as we can fit into there. Alright, so there's a bit more commercial. Now you guys should have a school. Let me just check the, the fundings. So we have two forty dollars the school bus on the way. Two forty ninety eight fifty six. Two forty ninety eight fifty six. So two forty and then ninety-eight And then was it fifty six? Fifty six, that's right. Okay, there we go. Um don't need that many there. I might need more later if they keep developing. Not now. And we'll check those later. Alright. What is that? Seven thousand dollars a month? Good. Let the money flow in. So now we are getting more money than we're spending. That's a good thing. We were having some troubles earlier, but not anymore. Doing pretty okay now. Now I'm thinking maybe we should think about... Libraries? I don't know how much good that would do for the city though. We can do libraries. Uh, what else can we do? We can try high density. Because this is all medium density, so we can try high density. That may or may not be a good idea. Hmm. Um, okay, let's just check the, the numbers. Crime is... Okay, it's slowly increasing again, that's not very good. Commute time is an hour. Power is fine, water is... still kind of okay. Air pollution, not so good. Jobs and population, so there we go. An increase in population. Water pollution, garbage. What happened there? no idea what happened there, but it continues to decline, that's good. Education has leveled off, so that's about how far the university education will get you. Education by age, that's interesting. Uh, life expectancy up to 75. Residential average income is up to $50,000 a, a year. That's good. That's good. People are... Wealthy, that's good. 